The summer of sell continues. A's fans went into Dodger Stadium, got them to do a sell the team chant in the fifth inning, loud enough that it was audible on the Dodgers broadcast and the A's broadcast. Dodgers broadcasters even mentioned it by name. So what you hear right now are chants of sell the team as the summer of sell continues for Oakland A's fans. Now let's see what A's fans have done. They've gotten the reverse boycott pulled off. They got chants going during the MLB draft. They got chants going during the All-Star game. Sell the team. Sell the team. Then they did the Unite the Bay in San Francisco. And now they've gotten chance off of sell the team at Dodger Stadium. Let me tell you, if you can get Dodgers fans and Giants fans to agree on anything, like sell the team, then you really must have a popular and common message. But why is that message so important? Why is it so critical for sell the team to be the only way out of the A's situation in Oakland? I'll tell you why right now. There's three major signs that I've found that John Fisher is just flat out done in Oakland. He doesn't want to build here. He's over it. He's gone. It's Las Vegas or bust for him now. And this one is a major one. This is brand new, just found. The EOSA and BCDC lawsuit, the one challenging the port priority use designation for Howard Terminal, is on pause, with all parties agreeing. I've been keeping an eye on these lawsuits because if the A's are actively involved in these suits, it kind of tells you that they still have a foot in the door at Howard Terminal. But right now, this lawsuit is paused and here's why. As reported in the press, the status of the Oakland Sports and Mixed Use Project is uncertain due to numerous factors including the expiration of the exclusive negotiation term sheet for Howard Terminal between the port and the A's and the potential for an alternative location for a new ballpark for the A's in Las Vegas, Nevada. So that tells you the East Oakland Stadium Alliance, who have been fighting against Howard Terminal being a ballpark, are happy with the current situation with the exclusive negotiating agreement between the A's and the port expiring. This is clear evidence that nothing at this moment is happening at Howard Terminal. So this has been on a stay. They're going to revisit it. They've pushed it back. It's signed by the A's lawyer. That tells you they're involved, but it tells you they're not that involved, and that is a big red flag. Here's another huge red flag. The Bay Area Host Committee putting on the 2026 Super Bowl and 2026 World Cup here in the Bay Area has formed, and their board of directors does not include the Oakland A's or anybody from A's baseball or Oakland at this point in time. Every other sports team in the Bay Area is included, not the A's. What does that tell you? It tells you that 2026 is a year that this host committee doesn't necessarily see the A's being a part of Oakland. It tells you that the A's have no interest in being a part of this host committee because you better believe they were invited. Lastly, Oakland Mayor Shang Tao flew to Seattle, met with Commissioner Rob Manfred. I've spoken to three different people at length who have been in that meeting, and it was intimated by Commissioner Manfred that John Fisher is done in Oakland. That's it. John Fisher doesn't have any plans to come back to the table. John Fisher is done with Oakland. He's primarily focused on Las Vegas, and he is gonna do everything he can to get a deal there and either sell there or build a stadium. We'll see. There's still a lot up in the air with that Vegas stadium situation, which is why the sell the team movement, the sell the team mantra, is the A's fans' best and only hope to keep baseball in Oakland. Because if this team doesn't get up on the market, it's the end of baseball in Oakland because John Fisher doesn't want to build here. He's done. He's a Bay Area guy that invested in a Bay Area team and he's ready to rip it out of the Bay Area no matter what it does to his name or family legacy. And you're seeing the opinions widely nationally. Everybody is harping on John Fisher and not on Oakland at this point in time. So can they pull it off in Vegas? Who knows? But I don't see any path for John Fisher 
to stay here with the Oakland Athletics. I think it's over for this ownership group. I don't think he's coming back. And I think that the only way is just like the Sacramento Kings when they were ready to move to Seattle, but the team got put up for sale by the Maloofs and Vivek Ranadive stepped in. That's the only salvation at this point in time. There's way too much evidence that implies that John Fisher is just simply done in this market.